I see you know, you know, I finally you know see where the hate come from. I'm not playing with him. Captain I finally King. see. I told the nigga I'm not playing with him. Captain Gangster. You know. Yeah. You know. They gon' gonna hate on me. Huh? And that's my time. Okay. I'm gonna okay. give him the money, nigga. Oh my life. I'm, I'm not, not playing life. with them niggas yet. I do it right. I do it right. Give me to the money that be me and that my time. Okay. Okay. I don't okay. play with them. Don't em. play with them. And that my life. Okay. I'm getting into the money, nigga. And now my tape. My nigga, yeah, be hating on me. Yeah, don't wanna do that, my nigga. I ain't nothing like them niggas. Ain't no need on that money. Get my tape. Yeah, walk up in the club. Yeah. Chloe yeah. Mang, I'm on that other yeah. shit. Bricked up with the money good. She know me, I got double key. Yeah. Keep yeah. it on yeah. me with a wristband with a lot of money on thug shit. She know what that is. Stay throw the one she love, oh, nigga. Shit. I want all of it. Let go, let go. Hey, you know me and never be proud. Never be proud. Right. You know my life. Then she fucking we get it tonight. Wait, she get on, I know get she be knowing I'm there. I know she know I gotta get. She know I can get it. Forty on. She know about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't got a lot of you. Yeah. She already know I do. Yeah. Niggas be hating on me, but me, yeah, I, I keep it true. You. Whatever yeah. she need, my money be she good. Want. She already know what I do, and I don't be fucking with them. I, I don't be fucking fuck with you. you. Niggas be hatin' since I stepped on the scene on the YouTube, YouTube shit. I've been getting to the money, nigga. You would think I'm not a friend. You would what? think I served the club on some mud shit. And I don't hate on them niggas. You they already hate know on me. Why you hate on me? What? You already know how I be. What? <laughs> I be on that shit. You already know I'm G. Cappy, I ain't fuckin' with you. So why you fuckin' with me? Cappy, I'm on the page like police. You already know how I be. Cappy, I came in these YouTube streets, step B. What? <laughs> came through these YouTube, YouTube streets, step B. I don't give a fuck. Them niggas always gonna hate on me. They gonna hate on Cappy Keys, man. Get on the fuck. Cappy Keys. I don't need to play. They gon' hang on me. You know why them niggas act like they don't wanna understand me. me. We in DFW. When I come through, you already know I be. Cat Cat bitch to the cat bitch the cat take off the stage with no one team. Only three. She love niggas. She know I'm free. Forty man for the other shit. I don't play with them. I get to the money. You already know I shit. I get it. Twenty three. I bought a Bentley. Twenty two. I bought a club. Twenty four. Had another club. Swear to God, I show you love. I'm thirty out. Bitches, you know what I'm about. I don't got play with these niggas. They know that the money I run in the house. Keep that 40 with them hollow points. I pull it out. Nigga be talking like he gangster. You know what I'm about. Nigga don't play with me. You know how I'm be. You already know. What it do, what it do, you already know what time it is, it's your boy Gangsta Cat, and I got the lowdown for the lowdown, and this is where it go, damn, OMG, man, did I hear a lot of crying tonight, man, Lakeside, man, is you gonna show some loyalty to your kinfolk, damn, you just had them all on your page. I saw a lot of busters, too. Please believe I know who you is, man. Like I said, and I'm going to keep telling you, dogs, I don't move with these niggas. So if you move with these niggas, then I know who you rocking with. And I, I can hear it. What they say, I can hear it in your voice when you talk that you shivering, you shake. It ain't my fault, Whoopi Goldberg, who you decide to kick in and make a break. Niggas always talking about what they would do. I heard a nigga said if he was to see me, he would do something. Man, if you niggas don't stop it, I ain't never had a nigga do nothing to me in my motherfucking life. You must not know who you talking to. A nigga wouldn't see me and do nothing. Nigga, a nigga be prepared to motherfucking pick his casket. That's the only thing a nigga going to be doing if a nigga had a problem with me and he seen me. I don't know what these niggas be talking about. That's why I say y'all niggas be confusing y'all Niggas just be acting like they the only niggas that, 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 that move a certain way. Nigga act like they the only one that move a certain way. I'm like, if you don't stop. If you don't stop. Come on, if you don't stop. But like I said, what I saw today was real ugly, man. Lakeside ain't showing no type. When I say no type, no type of loyalty to his own kinfolk. Your own kinfolk, bro. This nigga so much uh, switching up, it's not even funny. Like, how many times is you going to switch up? 
But one minute you say, oh, I can't fuck with somebody, you know what I mean, who on this type of level, but I, but he on your panel all night. Oh, I, if I show up to Pop Austin on the Wednesday, uh, we just going to come chill with him on a Wednesday. What? What? Is that how you moving? I told you, bro. Then they keep, then they want to keep saying, let, let's say this again. They keep saying out their own mouth, but there's a gray area. There's a gray area. I don't, let's not focus on the green. Let's focus on the gray area. That's not my job to focus on the gray area. Tell him to provide his paperwork. The gray area come from him giving the paperwork. If he provide the paperwork, the gray area be taken care of. I'm providing you with a lot of facts that ain't nobody showed you. I made him admit the big muddy. I made him admit to being convicted. Now he's finally admitted that he was convicted. So how, how am I supposed to give him the, the gray area? Nigga, that's your boy job to show the gray area. Ask him to show his paperwork on what he did and how he did it. But people are so amused on what somebody else is saying. The funny thing about it is they still keep denying the fact that he said it out of his own mouth what he did. He said it well, out of his own mouth what he did. So if you could if you condone that type of behavior out of any gentleman and you have daughters, that tell me what type of person you is. Talking about, I don't know. I just don't know what I want to do or who you want to be friends with. Man, if you don't stop, this gangster cat, this who this is, this gangster cat, so I'm trying to figure out, man, this gangster cat, this is who this is. Gangster cat. So I'm trying to figure out, what's up, Lakeside? Who you really rocking with? Do, or do you rock with your kinfolk? Or do you rock? Do you rock with the other side? Because you seem like you an other side type of person. And then you get mad at the people in your chat because they say you contradicting. Yes, you contradicting, homie. You very contradicting. Why? Let's explain this to you. How you going to bring a person on your chat and say, let me bring you up. I need to let you know something, KP. KP, I can't rock with you. I can't rock with you because I don't want no problems because I don't want to rock with somebody with this type of thing on my jacket because this is a business. But then the, in the same sentence after that say, but you can still call my phone and we can still chill behind the scenes and um, we, we can still uh, we can still kick it. And if we want to have lunch or if I want to go uh, chill with you on, uh, at Pop Austin, we can still do that. You making my point at totally. You people have no morals. And because you have no morals, you're willing to do anything. Even if that means go chill with somebody that you know was charged for a sexually criminal crime. A sexual crime taken by force. This man took something by force. Even if that means that, then guess what you're willing to do? Guess what you're willing to do? You're willing to still chill with him. Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. But you don't want to tell the truth, Lakeside. Then you always saw my niggas can hit my panel. Man, the dudes that's hitting your panel coming up there and they all talking to you because everybody want to play friend. I'm not the niggas that, that want to play friend. And stop thinking you scaring somebody. You just proving to me that you just like the rest of these niggas. All this fake crash out shit. Talking about I just might be in Fort Worth and if I see somebody, hey man, that shit don't mean nothing, nigga. Only thing gonna happen is you won't leave Fort Worth. If, nigga, the best thing for you to do if you ever see me is act like you don't see me. I'm one of them type of niggas. Ain't no nigga ever had no problem with me and, and, and approach me. Fuck it. I'm like, nigga, you serious? Who you, why do niggas think I'm just some regular nigga? Y'all niggas better stop talking crazy. Y'all niggas talk crazy. <laughs> Y'all niggas talk real crazy, real reckless. This nigga, that's what, them young niggas. 
And I'm talking to you, Lakeside, because you was a young nigga. Remember, you're not even older than me, my nigga. You was my, you was my little nigga. You're not on my level. You was a young nigga. You was a young boy, a young bull. You're not, you're not even on my level. But I'm trying to figure out what is y'all talking about? What is y'all talking about? Let's keep it real. You mad because somebody calling you out because you acting like this dude is your family, but you acting like the other dude who was charged for a sexual crime is more your family than the other nigga. And now you get on the internet and say, oh, I ain't going to lie. I don't think nobody won. I ain't going to lie. I don't think nobody won. Uh, Jinx ain't land too, Jinx landed some punches, but they wasn't flush. Uh, KP well, grabbed him. I see KP grabbed him, grabbed his shirt, but he didn't land no punches. So you know what? I don't think nobody won. Boy, if you ain't the fakest person I ever seen on this internet, if that if he ain't the fakest person I have seen on this internet, bro, and he say that's his kinfolk. And he said, that's his kinfolk, y'all. Y'all better stop playing. Y'all better stop playing. That's why I said, listen to what half of these people say and none of what you hear. Because that shit, if, hey, Kimmy, when you heard that shit, didn't that shit bug you out? When he said, uh, uh, I don't know, he didn't, he, it was nobody won. He didn't hit him. He didn't do this. Like, I'm like, bro, what it? What I don't do is I don't make excuses for other people, and that's what the crazy shit is about all of this whole thing. This nigga ain't making no excuses or confessions for what he did. He blatantly told you, and he feels like how he feels. Just like he just said, admitted it. But at the end of the day, you have to, you can't, you have to use a judgment call. And, and then the crazy thing, and then the with these niggas, like you said, they ain't your friends, and you really shouldn't get too close. And then the crazy thing about it is he keeps telling everybody, but there's a gray area. There's a gray. That, is that my job to find the gray area? I gave you all the other green parts of the areas that none of you knew. From Big Muddy to him being locked up for the sexual crime, you knew nothing. But now you keep talking about, yeah, he want to he wanna make all types of excuses. But he say, well, don't pay attention to the fact that we know he was in Big Muddy. Don't pay attention to that. What, we, what I want you to do is... is yeah, what I want you to pay attention is there's gray areas. We got to find the gray areas. That's what I want you to pay attention to. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What gray areas? If the man gave you the story himself, what gray areas? We know that what happened. He told it out of his own mouth. What gray areas? The gray areas is that we don't got the paperwork. And the only person that could that go back to Peora and go to the county clerk and get it or go to the juvenile clerk and get it, is him. It ain't us. And if I keep, if this man scream one more time out his mouth that why he ain't in a registered sex offender list, bro, I'm going to say this one more time for you, Lakeside. I don't know how many times I got to tell you. There's millions of people that were charged for sex crimes or was convicted of a sex crime that didn't have to register whether it was part of a plea deal or whether it was part of a first times offender program. And we know this dude was part of a first time offenders program. Chris, what up? What's I mean, up, man? Man, they, 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 they stunting on me, bro. They keep playing with me. If I you had no excuse for this dude. Yo, where did Cole say he nobody won? Where did Cole say that at? No, he just said that tonight on his live. He he watched the whole video and then he gonna say, "Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Jinx landed some punches, but they weren't flush. Uh, uh, KP uh grabbed his shirt, but he missed a lot of punches. But uh, you know what? It was a draw. It was a tie." I said, ah, oh, yeah, this nigga want to be on Pop Austin so bad. This dude contradicted himself so much. He literally tried to tell KP, I can't rock with you. But then in the same sentence say, but if it's a Wednesday and I want to come up to Pop Austin, then you know we good. It's business. 
Just say, just say you want to be around this dude because you want to be, you want to make it to the next level on podcasting too. Everybody always want to act like this is just a hobby. Just say it, bro. You want to make it to the next level of podcasting too. So you want to keep your, your, your directions open with networking and you don't care about it. No, you have no morals. Just say you don't have no morals. Nigga, you go through that door. Just say it. Look here. Look. I told this to Cole too. He hit me up and he gave me the exact lines KT gave me when he first hit me up. I said, Cole, now I mess with you because you spoke out on some stuff, but you sound exactly like KT now. And look how KT tried to do me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spit a little game to you, but I just got to. I gotta, I gotta analyze this, analyze what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm peeping. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like you giving me KP vibes, bro. You you giving me the same lines he gave me when he first hit me up. So I'm like, you know, is is he really saying he won? He or nobody won? Man, he said he said this nigga said it was a draw. And, and the only person that would say something like that is somebody that want to be his friend. And, bro, he wants to be KP friend. I don't know what it is. These niggas want to be his friend. They he, he even said it out of his own mouth. Bro, I know you was charged for this. You he, you even said out your own mouth on Pop Austin that you was convicted. I need to talk to him about that because he said he was convicted. The dude even slipped up and said he was convicted on Pop Austin. When he been telling everybody he wasn't even convicted, he was on the only charge. He slips up on Pop Austin and say, "I was convicted." Mm, mm, mm. A person that wasn't convicted don't slip up and say that. Mm, you don't mm. slip up like that. Are, are you going to slip up and say you was convicted of a crime that you wasn't convicted of? No, Sarskis. Never nope. in a million years, yes, especially a crime to that magnitude. I was going. Niggas I was going. talking about where's the paperwork. We can't get his paperwork. That is his paperwork. The nigga went to jail at 19. 19. Bro, that's not too far from 18. I don't know if he got charged at 18 and he didn't go to jail until he was 19. I don't know how long the case it took him to finally take the plea bargain. Nigga, I don't know how they prepared that motherfucking case. Either way, what I do know is that nigga had a, a parole date when he was 19, my nigga. Niggas keep saying we don't know what he went to jail for. Nigga, the only charge he caught in 2014 was a sexual charge. How the fuck he had a parole date in 2014? Nigga, he didn't catch the burglary charges oh, until 2014. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't catch oh, the burglary charges. Yeah. Huh? That's what I'm trying I'm to make. I'm these, just wondering these why. He didn't, he didn't catch a burglary charge until 2015. So why do you have a parole date in 2014, nigga? You can't make this shit up. What did you do in 2014 to get you a five-year parole date other than fucking a sex charge? Mm -hmm. and, we, and, and check this out. This is what people keep trying to act like they need paperwork about. We know he got out of jail, right? Because yeah. what? Because what? He caught a theft charge in 2015. So he had to be out of jail, right? For him to catch a theft charge in 2015, that means he had to be out of jail. So wherever he went to jail in 2014, he went to a program. He went to a first offenders program, did like three, four, five months, got out, and, and, and started stealing. And went back to jail. Mm -hmm. Come on, I know. I know. Man, oh man. I know. Come on, Cole. Why why are you playing with your kin folk like that, Cole? We got we gotta talk, bro. Hit my That's, phone. And, Cole. and you just keep talking about Austin and Austin and Austin. No, you the only one making Austin look bad, Lakeside. Because you playing with your own kinfolk now. This man had a fight with your kinfolk. This nigga talked shit about your kinfolk with you. 
and you keep talking about chilling with them. Uh, I, I kick it with niggas, and I don't got no problem with man. See, that's why I say niggas is different. Can a, you can't fight my kinfolk and be my friend? Nah, for real. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand nah, these real. dudes. Where do nah, they do this real. at? Hey, that nigga King Von said it. He said, nigga calling, get, talking about my brother you went to with all of us. So, <laughs> like, if, if no, you call, I mean, where do they do that at? I never you, seen no shit like that in my life. Man, if you call my phone, talk about, hey, your brother this and that, and bro, what you, I don't care what he did. We, you beefing with me too. It don't matter. Fuck you. I'm hanging out. Where, where, where do you do that at? Where do you do that at? Where can you be into it with everybody? Where can you get into it with somebody kinfolk? And he keeps saying, that's my cousin. That's my blood cousin. Well, you sh if that's what the, the definition of blood mean and, and cousin, I don't want that type of love. I would <laughs> never want that type of blood cousin. Yeah, bro, you got to see what's going on. Then he keep trying to make it seem like somebody want him to crash out. Nigga, we ain't asking you to crash out. We telling you to stop fucking with a nigga. We saying how you fucking with a nigga who who disrespected your your kin folk? How you fucking with a nigga who who have these type of charges on his name? But then you keep screaming, "I got daughters, I got daughters." But then in the same sentence, say, "I'll come kick it with you though." We could go out to Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. we, we could go sit on the platform together and do do business, nigga. That means you'll sell your soul. Look, let you, me you walk, you walk through that other door. Look to all upcoming podcasters. Let me tell you, tell y'all something. Y'all on the internet. Y'all get on the internet and portray a certain way. So you gotta move how you post to move in the streets in real life on the internet. You gotta keep that same type of mentality. If you gonna pick a side in the streets, you gotta pick a side on the internet. You gotta pick a side in the industry when you get in the game. You have to. You can't play both sides. You have to. You like, come on, bro. You just gotta be like F them up. Not that's just how you got to do it. If you don't do it, the internet gonna, gonna crucify you, they're not gonna mess with you. If you try, and you trying to make a legend on the internet, come on, man. Cove, it's no way you post a at of any type of circumstances. Take this guy side from a 1000 miles away. No way you post to mess with him after you fought your kinfolk. No way, yeah. I don't even call me your kinfolk. If you telling me I'm your cousin, but you telling me, I'm hearing you on the live kicking it with it, the nigga that I just got into it with. Yeah. You chilling with the nigga on live. Y'all niggas is cuddling, chopping it up like like babies. Mm -mm -mm. Where you so-called supposed to be telling the nigga I don't want to rock with you because I don't want no problems. But nah, you sitting there telling the nigga, hey, uh, I don't want to rock with you because I don't want no problems. I don't want to be involved in this shit. But, but guess what, homie? But guess what, homie? Uh, uh, um, I I'll kick it with you uh, behind the scenes. We can still be cool. Nigga, if that ain't the fakest shit I ever heard. Look, I'm going to tell y'all why it's fake. I'm going to tell y'all why it's fake. Because you don't think that that guy that don't like you, you don't think he's going to talk his sugar honey iced tea to that man about you? He going to talk some ish about you. And that Y'all seen that video with Drewski where Drewski was like, man, folks said he was going to slap you. And then Drewski was like, what you say? And then he was like, man, that ain't got nothing. He was like, man, I don't feel like you standing on business. I don't feel like you you let him say this about me and, and your face and you ain't defend my honor. Bro, what, all that shit is this clown shit, bro. And he, then he gonna say out his own mouth, oh, this is why they think I play both sides. No, this is why we know you play both sides, nigga. We don't think nothing. We see it. <laughs> nigga, we don't think nothing. You play both sides. You doing it with your own fucking family. Look, Cole, Cole, Man, you hit me up, but I'm disappointed, bro. I'm disappointed, man. Because you, you you hit me up, and it's like, man, first of all, you hit me with the same lines KT gave me. That's one. That was a red flag, red flag right there. And then you out here, you want to mess with them? Like, I'm like, ah, oh, come on, bro. Nah, like, nah. And then, yo, how you going to say? And then, you know, and bro. I was giving his girl a compliment, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga going to tell, tell the internet I'm coming for his girl. I gave her a compliment. I said she looked like Whoopi Goldberg. Nigga, Whoopi Goldberg is a beautiful black woman in this industry uh, as an actress. 
nice, long, beautiful dreads. I said your wife look like Whoopi Goldberg, and he take it like I'm, I'm throwing a shot at her. The irony of these people, the irony. Yeah, Colt, 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 I know why Colt said it was a tie because Gene has got on, got up here and said, man, if you with him, we on your ass. Anybody who said they my kinfolk, but rocking with them other folks, they ain't my kinfolk. He just disowned them. So he don't want to, he don't want to, you know, give, get a man his flowers. You feel what I'm saying? That's all that was. He just kind of demeaned him, said he ain't nobody to be speaking up. You know what I'm saying? So nah, he ain't going to give him his flowers. It's over. They ain't kinfolk no more. He kicked this side. Bro, this side yeah, he kicked this side. And I, I, I think Jinx know that he picked this side. If Jinx was watching that shit, Jinx know, yeah, this nigga picked this side. He, he, yeah. he's trying to go with, with, with the, the, the outsider. He, he, he <laughs> with the outsiders. He with the outsiders. Let, let's keep it one hundred. Y'all hear K say he don't f with Zay like that when Jinx told y'all the story the other day, shaking my head. Yeah, he did, he did say that. He did when he said the story when he when uh when he said he first saw Jinx not too long ago. He said I just saw Jinx and he ain't had no problem with me and he was talking about Zay and I told him that shit ain't got nothing to do with me and Zay. I don't fuck with Zay in that like that. This some we we we, we on the internet. Mm -mm -mm. That's why I said none of these niggas know what the real friend what they real friendship level is. Yeah, they, they, like they they chill with people. And, and kick it with people and go out to eat with people, let them sit on their couch, and then they backdoor each other. That's why I said they don't know real friendship. Yeah, that's why I never made friends with nobody. Only the only person in Austin who could who could who could mingle with everybody is me because I never made friends with nobody. I never kicked it with nobody. I never told anybody we was cool. I never did none of that. And I still don't do that. I still stay in my own, my own lane, in my own, you know, area. You know, they call me weird for not cooking up and hanging out and, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool. It's, it's what it is. Well, nigga, I ain't never seen nothing good come out of that. I see niggas fighting all types of dumb shit, getting into all types of niggas knowing your business. Every time mm -hmm. I see niggas be friends, niggas and click up, go outside, they know their business even more. Your dish is dirty. That your house was stinking. Oh, uh, like your kids don't come home on time. I used to see so much shit like that. Nigga, I come from the most three sector. Trust me, I saw all types of shit. They just had a fight on live today. Man, I man, when I seen that fight, I was like, oh man, finally. Finally, they seeing this. They see like I'm look. I'm hoping they see that I had to get Zay to see. I'm like, bro, you see this nigga lying 10k, right? You seen them lie. So if he could lie, he put it on a dead homie. So if you ever hear him say on a dead homie, he lying. You know what I'm saying? He lied. He put on a dead homie. Everything. So I'm hoping Zay seeing this, and I'm like, Zay, bro, you see this man is a capper. It's 10k. So, bro, you on the wrong side of history, my guy. He just Bro, lied the dude, dude straight lied to everybody face straight on on camera he, today on his live. He said, "Yeah, the only thing uh uh Gangster Cap told the truth about was that yeah I was in Big Money. I didn't tell the truth about nothing. You never told. You never said nothing to nobody. I exposed it. It's yeah. a difference between telling the truth about something. I exposed it. You yeah. never you never told the world." You didn't tell the world, oh, I was in a sexual prison for, for mm -hmm. people that go for sexual crimes. You never told the world, hey, guys, um, let me expose the fact to everybody right now because I'm a podcaster that I was uh, charged of a sexual crime. Usually, mm -hmm. usually when you become a podcaster, don't people like to tell their story? Mm -hmm. that, that's what it, this shit really is, right? You get interviewed. You talk about your life, what you've been through. You give people your testimony. Mm -hmm. React, reacting to shit is only one one third of this shit. You feel yeah. me? Oh, it's half of this shit. The other half is people getting to know who you are as a person. Get yeah. people know your story so they want to interview you. So you could be a, con a commodity. Just like Nadi, after a while, breaking shit down, eventually he had to start telling people who he was as a person so people could want to know your story. How long you was in jail? What you got charged for? You see what I'm saying? They want to know you. So how you going to get over here, KP, and never tell the world 
the shit that you was ever charged and yo i was charged for this let me tell y'all how to watch out for certain predicaments how not to get caught up in situations nah you're not gonna do that why because you know what the fuck happened yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah so his, his so-called baby mother right now is 21 years old you said this man is in his 30s but he but he want to play the game and but yo, he want but he he don't want to tell the truth for the facts yo so so zay you see how tte naughty went up to see y'all was mad about ttc you can't pick and choose y'all was mad you was mad about naughty going up to no jump and said he killed a man and it wasn't true it, he completely lied so you can't let KP get away with saying he beat that man up and it was a hundred percent a lie. Hundred percent. It went you the know, 